Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. I am Fortuno Levea, here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. It has been too long, Father. You look well. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. How is Mother? She misses you terribly, of course, but is otherwise a picture of health. Circumstances apart, I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louis Wa, during his sojourn in Eorzea. All thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. And my position remains unchanged. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the Forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. May I ask for what reason the Forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. The final days? Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. <laughs> if the final days were truly upon us, we would know. Father, you must ask the Forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. <sighs> I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. But I see now that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? 
It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike him, you should know better. By espousing such barbaric notions, you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Alfino, Alizé, as of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. What? Father... How you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Master Fulchino, while Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Father! Wait! Don't bother, Alizé! How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen?! 